So uh, I just created this other drawing here, and uh, as you can see, the label down here it doesn't it's, it doesn't have uh, the scaling which I like to have in all my labels. So this is just an example of changing a label quickly. So double click on your outside green box so your detail uh, your detail yeah so let me click here you can see this view properties and detail properties so the detail properties which is the outside one i think uh, so you can see the process here is my own process but the drawing style is the advanced steel one. Now I've altered that a little bit before I knew how to create these properties, so I should really have created a new one. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to go and find that one. So it was four curve beam. That's the one there we're using. So I'm just going to go into that and it's the front view. And go to the view properties clipping. Uh, where am I going? Sorry. Uh, so back to curve beam, sorry, detail title, here we are. Sorry, got a bit confused there myself. So I'll just put in scale here, S-C-A-L-E. And I'll go here and scroll down. And we want to put in the token for scale. Just, I mean, if you write in a scale there, it's not going to be correct, obviously. You want the one, right one to come in. So, okay. I wanted to use that now, so I have to go back in. It'll bring me back into the same one and use and select it. And voila, there's your scale. So that can easily be done. And now every time that'll come in with a scale on it. So hope that helps. Uh, like and subscribe if you liked and you wish to subscribe. I'm going to try and put out as many videos as I can. I really just work. And if I have something useful, I just record it. So you'll have to excuse the videos if they're a bit all over the place. Uh, anyway, take care. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.